This is the word to go, yo. Go, yo. Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Gaw TV. As you can see, our guest is already here. Already. She has arrived. She has taken over Casa del Aldis, if you will. I brought flavor. But a lot of flavor. Brought flavor she brought a lot of flavor to yeah, the house. Um, and we'll get all into that. Uh, ladies, I'm so excited to see you. Um, hello to everyone in the chat below. Uh, love having you here. Before we do anything, before we get cray cray, make yeah. sure you like this video, right? Subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss our episodes because we're awesome and we're so much fun. Good Tons time. of fun. Tons of funs. And our favorite. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. No. That was this, a very serious. It's intense. You want to even do this now? This is shitty. That's, that's come on I'm now. Doing. Like, come on. Showing us up, Mickey. Well, <laughs> I, I told you I got this from Korea. From the bell house. It's still the, ringing. It's still ringing. It's intense. But I, I broke my bell. You guys know. It's sad. It's sad. It's it's sad. sad. You have your it's bells sad. and your balls. You're the bell of the ball. Really <laughs> Bell of the balls. Never know what you're going to get. Tasha is so thrilled to see you here again for a little sequel action. We're so happy to have you here. I will tell you guys that um, I um, am so excited for this episode, but I will tell you we have something to look forward to next week, which is our sort of pre-Halloween extravaganza, if you will. So if you are a top tier member of mm -hmm. patreon.com slash TV, you will get access. Yes. All of our gorgeous patrons, everybody. Mm -hmm. Tasha, come on. Get it. Yes, if you are hashtag gorgeous, which means you are the top tier of Patreon, you will get access to our live Zoom chat. It happens right after God TV around 6 p.m. Eastern next week, October 26th. And we encourage costumes. They're not mandatory, but they are highly encouraged. We'll be in costumes for our live live chats. And actually, we had so many requests to do this before because we did some of the live chats before that were, you know, after parties and it was on Zoom, we have so many loyal fans that do it. We also have new people that come in and they're a little shy. You don't have to be on camera, by the way, but you will be live with us, just like right. you're on Zoom, just like you're a part of God TV. So next week, join us for that. All you have to do is be on patreon.com slash God TV as a top tier. Bring your costume, it's gonna be fun. I promise. So much fun. Fun is so guaranteed. Trick or treat, trick or treat. What's to eat? Smell my feet. <laughs> Yeah, give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. Yeah. Oh Which God, is God, that is such a flashback. Oh my God. Yeah. My brother used to oh, answer that. the door and do like a trick, yeah, and the, the, the kids, the, the, the kids would open the bag, and they're like, and he goes, "I just did a trick. You said trick or treat. I just did you a trick. They never got it. But anyways, Aww. but I'm um, going on to our next little little awesome news. Mm. We're on podcasts. Spotify, unedited version on Spotify a week later. So why do you want to get it a week later when you can join Patreon to get it a day before or a couple days before, right? Yeah. Right? right. And we get the juicy, ju juicy, juicy stuff. The juicy, juicy stuff. So the unedited versions, because we know you all have ADHD. So our YouTube vision um, the version is just uh, 30 to 45 minutes normally. It yeah, is. but um, yes, but uh, Wait, you yeah. see this unfiltered. It's 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 a lot. <laughs> it's a lot by Depeche Mode. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> by Depeche Mode. Oh my God! I just aged myself right there. Yeah. You guys were. You and guys also were our warm. amazing store, Lisa, that floats yes. below the episode. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. And Nikki James has the pillow and she does pillow fights every night. So, you know, okay. you can join in on the fun. They're pretty dirty these days. <laughs> yeah. That's your weapon of choice, the gall pillow. Yeah, the gall, the Ooh. dirty gall. I'm begging you to take that to one of the impact shows on your on your retirement. Oh, yeah. And use it. Oh. Yeah. Pillow fight. With the God Just TV. Bring back pillow. the pillow fight. I'll get in the pillow. Bring back Just pillow fight. talk. I can't, I can't love. tell you now. Oh man. I, I love Pillow talk. talk and Impact Wrestling. Pillow Talk was like the uh, height of like my favorite things I've ever done just because I just loved the whole idea. Like, remember that, maybe you don't, <laughs> remember that Ready to Rumble scene where the Nitro girls were like getting ready in the locker room and they had like silk robes and like lotion on their legs. I was like, I want to do that. And that's where <laughs> talk, I can do that. wrestling cool, but I want to be that. And yeah. uh, that's where the whole Pillow Talk thing came about. And I was like, what would it be like to, you know, get through the velvet rope and go into the women's locker room and see what it's like. And that was the whole 
Basis of Pillow Talk, which actually, that's exactly what this show is as well. The Ultimate Slumber Party. It is a spinoff, it is a spinoff from it Pillow really Talk. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm going to start doing little pictures with her everywhere, by the way. Just like Love it. Let me Let me see. Put it in front of the camera again, Mickey. I told oh, you. That's really cute. Can I see the back? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's cute. Oh, she's got a whole <laughs> ensemble. <laughs> Isn't she cute? Figure Mania, yeah. dot net. Get it today. Yeah. yeah. They are yeah. prepackaged. They're all finished packaging and they're shipping here now. Oh, good. So, okay, good. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good. Pint size anyway. and highly prized. Pint size and highly prized? Yeah. I like One that. Real Housewives uh, described herself, sorry, she described herself as baptized pint-sized and highly pressed is that when they had those candles that you sent me the high the, the housewives oh, had you know those a different franchise they had jesus candles but it was they had jesus them. candles i have candles like that too and they put them as uh holy Mar like mary yeah it's and sacrilegious you know it's for drag cool. queens though and it's kind of adorable so i don't know well that's different yeah drag <laughs> queens are way more way more important than real housewives let's be honest I have some of those candles. I think I have them around my bathtub of all the angels, the guardian, guardian angel, yeah. Jesus, uh, all of them around my bathtub. You know why? Because they're only a dollar and they'd have them in all the colors. They have them in red and green and pink and white. They're always unscented. There's no scent to them. But I think I, when you're thinking about colors of like, you know, whatever you're lighting a candle for, there's all the colors there. So. Yes. We gotta like share the, the color of the candles. Glass, they're not gonna melt out and then all no. over the place. You know, they yeah. stay. Mickey, you need to share that picture you sent me. Like what all the colors of the candles represent. Ooh. You know, we we need oh. to share that on our, our 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 social media and have a gaw candle like that. Oh. You know, yeah, that'd be nice. Right? Do you remember when we would go to the fair? Do you guys? Was this a thing where you would get the candles and they would have would shave them and make the little. Uh, the things and they would have all the colors within the peels of how they had deck. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Man, that was crazy. <laughs> Look at Tasha. <laughs> no, you guys are old as dirt. No, but, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Then, yes, Tasha came to spend some time here. We went to the wrestling school yesterday. We did. Yes, first of all, tell us how the fact that you know, you're know you in town, what you've been doing, why we're graced with your presence, because we're getting really a two for one here. We got Mickey Andrews. Well, she took Great. over the chat room. I did. She did take over the chat room. I did. You um, know. Last week. I did. Yeah. She got her shit in. Yeah. I got, I got her shit in. <laughs> We're trying to make this hardcore flavor thing happen. And it's just, you know. It's baby steps. It's a lot of ego balancing yeah. here. More so on this side. Oh, okay. just, you know. See? It's like Don't a big begin. pot of chili. It's spicy, but it's warm and delicious. But at least you're satisfied, you know? Add added flavor to it. Yeah. Added flavor. How did this come about? So are you just visiting Nashville? What's been going on? Business related or just for fun? Yeah, no, I just, I came just to visit Nashville and um, just have fun. Because normally, like, when Impact comes to Nashville, we don't, we don't really get the time to really like go out and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And then when we come in, the girls or everybody would be too tired flying in or the last day of tape is when it's time to really go out, everyone would still be too tired because we get out late. Right. So we never have that time to really enjoy the areas that we are, especially when it's areas that you should enjoy and we don't have right. that time to enjoy it. So she had never been really out in Nashville except for during COVID. Mm -hmm. Like she and. But everything was shut down. And everything was shut yeah. down. So we had a good time. Mm -hmm. Where'd we, we went to Kid Rock's bar. Yeah, we did. Yeah. The we went bar to there? I didn't know that. Uh -oh. That's new. That's new. It's a new one. Yeah, it it's is. a new one. It is. Really yeah. nice. Went to the rooftop and we got blown up on the way up there. There was like a four, of four a sets of stairs, of stairs to get to oh. the top. And then we got up to the top and there was no seats because no everybody was up there. So we went back down a level and went to the almost, almost rooftop. Yeah. Not quite rooftop. Halfway point yeah but well, we can still feel the outside yeah but that the outside was still yeah did you not go in and say don't you know who i think i am i almost <laughs> told him i'm like you want me here bro i could watch the instagram it and mr rock loves wrestling clearly so that mr. Was rock yeah. does love a bit of wrestling mm -hmm. yes he does a little bomb i should have just called him up then like excuse me mr rock we're here kid 
The, excuse me, kid. <laughs> also part of the Ready to Rumble soundtrack, by the way, with that Goldberg run in. Uh, no one uh, knows. I I think I've yeah. heard before. I asked Mike Janae about that movie, and I he goes, Val, I think you're the only one that liked that movie. And I was like, that's harsh. I really <laughs> loved it. And I just found out that David Arquette is coming to the UK to a signing for a company that I work with. And I was like, I'd love to talk to him about Ready to Rumble. Oh, God, get him on our show. Get him on our show. I'd love to. He follows me. Yeah. Let's, give, let's give him a deal. Yeah, I, I, rode, I, um, I rode with him in a car um, with Thunder Frog and, and a couple of the wrestlers because yes. we had to do a show. And I got, um, I'm not good at the back seat. I got car sick. And That's not what I've heard. Hey, all And then, and then David, yeah, David Arquette goes, here, you take my seat. He was sitting in the front. Aww. He gave me the front seat. How I was like, you were making a nauseous dry even in the back. Oh. <laughs> oh. Every time he goes, <laughs> well, I'm a classy bro. What the hell with these divas? They're yeah. fucking. Yeah. Right. He's like, oh, God, get in the front. <laughs> God, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm I'm impression it. of David Arquette. But hey. No, but honestly, Tasha, I will tell you that Nashville, you know, I'm, I'm not, um, I wasn't sure how I would like it when I first went because I started doing like impact stuff up there. And I was like, I don't know. I'm not super huge into or, or, or knowledgeable about country music. And when I, when I landed at the airport and they had rocking chairs everywhere, I was like, this is for real. This is mm -hmm. Um, And then, but like, the, what's the street there, Mickey? It's, it's not Broadway. Broadway. Broadway and Tootsies and all these, it's a lot of fun. No matter what you're, it's so much fun. It's a very lively, it's kind of like a Fremont Street in Vegas or, you know, Bourbon Street in New Orleans. It's its own kind of vibe. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, that's that's the good thing downtown that even if you don't like country music, they'll make you like the scenery and everything down there. They'll make you love it. Just like wrestling. Yeah. So first time believers watching it, however you see the person on there, first 10 seconds, it's either you like it or you love it. Same yeah. thing goes in here. Yeah. yeah. And then the yeah. same vein of like, if you live in LA, at least especially will know this, like everyone that you meet's an actor. In Nashville, everyone's a country music artist so there's some sort of musician. But it's very cool because everyone's kind of, you know, what do they call it here? Like busking, you know, everyone's like um, doing their own music and stuff or they're performing in bars. And it's really nice. It's a very creative community. And my goodness, everyone's moving to Nashville in the last like five, 10 years. Yeah. I mean, Jack White's there. Like everyone's yeah. moving to Nashville. That's like the place to be as far as musicians go. Yeah. And I'm glad that you got to go out, movies. Tasha. Like, I'm glad you got to go out because we were just, um, we were going to bring this back up. But since yeah. we're talking about it, the bonding experience, like being on the road from our days is going out. We can go to a dive bar. We don't need to go anything fancy, but the bonding experience is going to see the town and going to their local pub or their local, uh, whatever the restaurant is. And then we all get to see each other out of character and just, mm -hmm shoot the shit and, and, and just be normal. And this is how we created all of our families, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. I always said like on the road, some of my favorite bits were, especially those, not just the cities, like it was fun to go out, but I really loved going to some of the small towns and just getting some of the history of like some of these like little towns and going to like the mom and pop restaurant that was yeah. like, they have the best food apparently or whatever, just to kind of put them over and also to experience like the authenticity of that city, you yeah. know, because we're in and out of them so much. It's like, well, you got to make the most of it while you're on the road. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. You do. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Tasha, when you travel, you get to see a lot. And then you're getting hardcore flavor. You're getting a yes, yeah. hardcore flavor. Hashtag you guys, that's, that's a hashtag. Hardcore flavor. Mickey <laughs> trending now in the chat room. That. I guarantee yeah. you right now in the chat room. But Tasha, when you travel, do you get to see a lot of stuff? Do you make time or is it just sort of an in and out? It's sport? it's mainly like in and out. and um normally like when people first started telling me like you you really never like when you're on the road wrestling and stuff like that it's hard to really have that downtime and see things so I didn't believe it at first um because when I used to travel before I got signed I was able to in between traveling from like one indie show to the next I was able to see different towns and stuff like that but um now like with, with impact and the busy schedule and it's even a little much harder since COVID, but everything like starting to reopen it's a little more difficult to really see the town and stuff like that because you come in it's either you're coming in late or you come in super early and you're tired and then when you by the time you get that rest in between and you wake up it's a little too late especially depending on the town that you're in because a lot of towns are not open that late and then on the last days of tapings because in between is really busy so on the last day of tapings you want to go out but by the time you're done with tapings 
it's late or you have to stay later because you don't know if you have pretense, you know, you don't know if you have extra stuff to do. So it's just, exactly. it's, it's been a little difficult. Yeah. Yeah. I hear well, a little I... patter, pitter patter of feet. That... Pixie, yeah. Pixie. Uh-huh. Oh, Pixie. Uh-huh. That was Pixie. Coming in to wreck the day. I heard her little, yeah. little oh, nails on the floor. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Speaking of nails, my dog woke me up this morning, uh, uh, two days ago. There we go. Oh, I, I, I thought she just went like this with her paw on my my forehead, and I was like, "Oh no, no, I'm not, I'm not up yet." And then I went back to bed. I woke up and I looked in the mirror, blood gushing. Evidently, what? she cut me open. I got gigged, you guys. Oh my god! god. Never in wrestling. Oh, <laughs> oh man! God. You know what? Moana, you're a stiff bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Moana. Damn it. I've been known to throw a potato or two, but. Diffy McGill. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Well, my goodness, we've gotten so. That's how much fun we're having. We're, we're getting off on a tangent, but we love to do our segment of the show. Let's go around the board here. I'll start with Steve, <laughs> Mickey and Tasha. Uh, who are you wearing and what are you drinking this evening, ladies? <laughs> Um, I have a little coffee here with some caramel salted whiskey that I poured in there. Ooh, la la. Oh, yum. And just wear it because we went out. So, yeah. so we kind of dressed up. I'm dressed yeah. up today. It's a little bit. You know. Yep. Wow. Get um, it. Get it. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Pixie is in Pixie, her lap. Pixie's on my lap. Pixie, so. come here. No, I got like a little fashion Nova outfit going on. So, you know, yeah, I got this. Really she was wearing, on the on I was wearing the Canadian tuxedo I was wearing the Canadian. I was. Yeah, she now, was. Now, is that I because like you him. are an Aries or you're a huge Austin Aries fan? Because yeah. it's go both what? ways. <laughs> no, I, I'm an Aries, born in April, April 3rd. <laughs> Aries, <laughs> high five to that one. Yeah, because we're, we're the leaders. <laughs> we're, we're better than everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Someone had to say it, yeah. I just have, I have a mystery drink, I'm going to say. It's a mystery oh, drink. What's in your we're mystery drink? It's, it's, <laughs> it's mysterious, I can't tell. Oh. It looks delish. It looks I will good. say yeah, that I don't mean to, you know, good. expound upon what you just said, but Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. You know, God is. Or yep. Mars is our planet. We're a yep. ram. We're a fire sign. We cray and we are boss babes. I love an Aries, fellow Aries. But we're, Aries. we're tons of fun. We are cray cray and tons of fun. Mm -hmm. I will say that. I just got my little pearl beret on. I am so thrilled to be. Uh, obviously, I'm not in my home right now. I'm in uh, London. I'm in Chelsea, actually. Hashtag made in Chelsea. And I've got my little uh, Sloan Ranger outfit. Lots of pearls. Lots of adornments. And I don't mean to brag, ladies, but I am sitting on the floor <laughs> uh, of my hotel room. We can't tell. Because I have, uh, I had a lighting issue. So this is my light. Nice <laughs> ring light, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm keeping it real classy here. And I've got lukewarm Sauvignon Blanc that I bought oh. off license. It's Isla Negra. It's actually very inexpensive, but it's one of my faves. And there were no wine glasses here. By the way, I have to say, it is a nice hotel. Wow. This is all I got. But uh, did tell them, like, when you went downstairs, can I get another lamp? Oh, they said no. They said absolutely not. They said no. Uh, it was a whole thing. It's a whole thing. And then the no. guy tried to come up and fix the lamp, and he literally uh, kneeled down to fix something and broke my glasses in two. So, <laughs> it's been an evening. It's been an evening. Hotels.com is going to have a wrath when they wake up. Oh, my God. I would, I would hate to get Aaron. I went, oh, wow. You're going full, Karen? I literally just saw, my, I, my husband always says when you're mad, I just saw my nostrils flare. Your nose, like, your nose. Like, yeah, yeah, that's your how nose, mad I was. Yeah, your nose, they do <laughs> flare. <laughs> yeah. It happens. And it, I, I just physically felt myself do it when I was getting it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Full nostril oh flare. Hashtag that. You know, Mark, we got to make my nostrils flare. It's not moving. It's not working. It's not my, moving at all. I don't know. I was just getting my eyebrows. <laughs> if you could hear me, or why? I'm breathing like a dog over here. Like I thought that was Pixie. No? <laughs> just you? I thought it was Pixie too. <laughs> no, Pixie left the room 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Hey, no, that was <laughs> hashtag, oh hashtag my God. Leopard Lisa. Tell us. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. I, you I got a new, new outfit. This is my outfit. favorite thing you've ever worn. Beautiful. Uh, I got a new outfit, you guys. I'm going to take it to Fayetteville this, um, you know, well, I wore it at Fayetteville Comic Con. 
Um, uh-huh. I wear comfortable clothes, you guys. I wear my gear and I'm sweating and I'm miserable. Are you not do the kick that yeah. you did earlier? You're not oh, no, okay, okay. Well, the, look, I'm not wearing really fancy socks. They don't even match. Boom. <laughs> Boom. I'm doing Mickey James. Boom. Boom. I wish I could kick higher, but Mickey's a lot more flexible and younger than I am. But um, I am drinking my Behringer wine um, from CVS. When you buy oh, six fancy. bottles, it's 380 a bottle. What? Yeah, yeah. This I told now? you this last Hold week. The budget. And um, I'm drink. I, I didn't have time to wash dishes and stuff like that. The plumber still hasn't come, you guys. But um, I drank some of the wine um, and ate a couple bugs. The gnats. Yeah. You were you were, you were natty Neidhart. Uh, I thought it was a cork. I thought it was a cork, and I was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll drink around that. But it sucked up in the straw, and I, yeah. Did it get that stuck nap. in the back of your throat? Were you like this? It, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Mickey. That got drunk and had a lovely. Freaking A, man. It's fine. Extra fiber. Yeah. I literally <laughs> had a fly, like, fly into my mouth, like, mid-combo. And you're, like, just talking and the fly has flown in your mouth before. And you're, like, <laughs> like that. Like, oh, that. Oh, no, I swallowed it. Oh, no. Oh, well. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Why? I guess she'll die. Guess she'll Remember that story? Yeah. There was there, an old lady who too, that true, but like you guys, how many um spiders like you ingest in your sleep, like in your what? life? What? Like, Apparently yeah, don't they give that a gook. in your mouth when you're sleeping. I heard about that. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, give it a gook. Oh my you're god. So, the have you ever walked down the bit. street? Have you ever guys walked down the street and you're like um a, a bird poops on you? It's supposed to be good luck in Japan, okay? It happened in France to me, yes. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, and you walk, and you're like looking around, like about to throw down. You're like, "Who the freaking? What did they throw at me? Come on, let's go, let's go!" And you're like, "Oh, a bird pooped on me." Oh, <laughs> I've heard it's supposed to be good luck. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I've heard it's good luck. Are you sure? That's what they tell okay, you. So you that's what they tell you because you're pissed exactly. off. I didn't feel very lucky. No, I shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good luck. It's okay. Yeah. You look great. Yeah. yeah. The crap Meanwhile, yourself. you're like, hey, it's hanging here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was, of course, when I was in France trying to be all like fancy and like, oh, I'm walking around in my little. Really? Life. Yeah. In Lyon. You've been to Lyon before. Yeah. Nikki? Uh, yeah. I love Lyon. Yeah. yeah. Oops. At least, yeah. I don't know. It was bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> but back to happier news. Uh, Tasha, yes. I just wanted to ask you a question. When Mickey said you were going to be on, I just thought of something we didn't really talk to you about before, which is so cool. We can have you back here to you know, keep talking about um, memories and things. What was your first kind of early memory of seeing Impact slash TNA, as we call it, on TV? Like, what were your first TNA memories? Like, did you ever go to, like, a live show or did you see it on TV? Because I was watching around, like, 2002, I believe, is when I was, or maybe 2004. No, 2002. Something like that. And I was watching it on the the weekly pay-per-views. When they were in Nashville, and then when I went there, I you know I had seen a few shows, whatever. But what were your earliest memories of watching TNA slash Impact Wrestling? I never, I never been to a, a live Impact show. I've never. Um, so it was like earliest memories. I think it would. Eh, gosh, it had to be like around I would say 2017, around there, 2017, 2018. Oh wow! And, and um. I can't remember. Uh, I think it, this was around the time that um, Deanna, she had did her first knockouts knockdown. And um, because I was training with her, so I was like mm-hmm. so intrigued about like her doing it. And it was like like around like her eighth match ever. So um, that's when I really, really got into it a lot more watching her on there and um, her being like me training with her. And she's being like one of my closest friends, you know, inspired. So I wanted to go ahead and um, watch more and yeah i love that that was my earliest did you ever go to a live um like like even a wwe show or like um oh yeah a house Um, show yeah my mother took me like when i was younger a lot of a lot of wwe house shows like when they came to madison square garden i went to a lot there um and then like in jersey when it used to be the izod center that was a long time ago oh wow we used to we used to go there too um so yeah it was oh so it's so long ago Oh, well, this is to Mrs. 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 Steele. I thought Center was like around 2000, 2001. We were seeing specific wrestlers on the show, though. I was very young, very, very young. I was like around like 
eight, nine years old around there. I know. I talked to your mom. I talked to her on the, your, your, your. Love Facebook mama yeah. 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 She's beautiful. Younger than yeah. I am. So, you know, no, you know, no, <laughs> I think she, everybody, she's older than everybody. She buries her mom all the time. Cause she, my mom, oh, your mom is me. great. Yeah. My mom, my mom, your mom. Me. my mom puts me at the bottom of her favorites list. So. Oh, here we are. Well, I got to talk to her. We did. Um, I had, I had the pleasure of getting, um, Tasha steals out to California yes. at the wrestling guy store. And um, we have a picture right here. We can show that from the, you know, from oh. the wrestling guy store, this is justice you and just they're, they're kids. I'm very tight with this family. Very yeah. tight. They helped you me through us. thick yeah. and thin. Yeah. You you guys know how much I go out of my way for this family, but um, I'm glad I got to um, hang out with you, Tasha, like on a, yeah. on a personal level and have dinner with you. And it was a blast. See? And you are, and I agree. So tiny. And I agree. Great. Great. Pass the message. Pass the message. I am great, right? <laughs> yeah. We could have had this hardcore flavor thing a long time ago, but she was just but equal tripping keeps... because you know somebody took her title. I don't uh, know. No, well, I. Well, it's hey. just that. Every, well, because Tasha's trying to tag team with everybody. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. She's <laughs> like, oh, no. quintessential flavor. Okay, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, because Giselle widow's, and I. Widow's uh -oh. peak flavor. Here we oh. go. She she got jealous because me and you, Lisa, we hung out. So <laughs> oh, is that what it is? The one. jealousy sets in. Listen, Mickey looks great in green, though. You know she does. Green with envy. It's all right. It goes green with envy. Eyes. It does. <laughs> yeah, it gets, It does bring out your eyes. Yes. It does. Yeah. She's not yeah. wrong. Yeah. You know. But um, yeah, Katarina Waters was there too, oh. and. The, Tasha right. never met her. her as well, so it no, was three knockouts. Time. Yeah, three That's knockouts. Amazing. Yeah, right. I've seen nice. her. I've She's seen her, but I've beautiful. officially met her first time here. Very elegant the way she, she talks. Very, She's oh, very yeah. classy. You know what she does? She I always say about her like she she carries herself with such poise like you know people just have like a certain kind of like aura. But She's yeah, very classy, lovely girl. We love her. You're like and, that, Val. Sorry, you're like that, Val. You carry yourself with class. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't well, take that anymore, but I appreciate that very much. Not now. Thank you, Lisa. But I will say we love her. And it's a great reminder if you guys are watching, especially if you're new here. She was on the show. So we have a replay of that, of course, right here on YouTube. Or if you're listening on podcasts, her episode is phenomenal. But now that we're on that subject of Impact Wrestling, which we love, Lisa, and because I know Mickey was part of Impact. We'll go to you after this. You were part of Wealth TNA when it started, really. But Lisa, what were your first, like, memories of watching impact before you got there like didn't you say that you were watching oh. some of like the women's matches is what hooked you right yes that's what um i you, didn't when you saw it did you see it on the road like did the guys have it on what happened no not the guy i think i just watched it privately i don't i don't even know how i to be honest with you i don't i think it the channel was free right back in the okay. day when we have cable mm -hmm. but um not streaming and stuff like that but i was watch. you know i'm really good friends with gail kim and i started watching gail yeah. And, and, and looking on social media, they were getting such a, like, like that was the match that they were at least all with awesome Kong who has been on our show too. Yeah. And, um, I started watching them because I'm, you know, you, you want to support your friends that are in the business. Not that we have a lot of time to watch wrestling. We don't have time to watch every single show, but I started watching that and I'm like, Oh, who's this? Who's this? And when I came aboard to TNA, um, immediately bonded with ODB, you know, that's why, yeah, you know, yeah. like, you know, she's getting married next year and, you know, uh -huh. so it's, she's just super down to earth and it was a different locker room stat, uh, the way they included you. It wasn't like you have to go to t every freaking wrestler and say, hi, my name is Lisa. Hi, my name is Lisa. Hi, my name is Lisa and say hi to everybody. It was more of a, a loose locker room Casual, but it was yeah. very warm and then you and i hit it off val right away we had the same you know like just the humor, sense of humor yeah, yeah. And i could not wait till when mickey got signed i was like oh god you guys are gonna love it and she, you're gonna love her and it was just it it, it was it's it it was very comfortable right Those mickey days. right oh, it was well, just always well, yeah them. it was such a, a good time yeah yeah and Mickey, well, you know, definitely expound upon that about um, how you started with it. But it's funny because you really, um, more so than Lisa and I, you've been there to see the locker room as, as in terms of the knockouts really evolve 
yeah you know, since i was there on your first, i never forget you being there on the, on the first day and everyone was so excited to meet you and it was like wow and i of course was a fan i was like wow this is so cool uh, i remember you coming into catering and being like oh crap this is exciting and from then to now you've had the luxury of like really kind of seeing different generations yeah. evolve in terms of impact wrestling yeah. so talk about that because we've it's come really a long wild. way and of course we always think our era is the most fun because that was our era right. <laughs> we're now part of like a whole new crop of ladies which is so exciting yeah well, it's crazy because I remember when TNA first came on the scene and, you know, at that time there wasn't any competition or anywhere for everyone else to go. And then all of a sudden you hear about this show that they're going to start and it was the first two pay-per-views. And I was lucky enough to be one of, they were doing like the 25 girl no. battle royal and the winner gets a contract. And it was when they did the two, I think it was in Birmingham, they did the to um filmings the pay-per-views oh yeah and then uh yeah. bb won that and then i you know was still on in the indies and i was very green at the time but i went away for a while but i was just kind of watching it because it was an opportunity and i could i was like oh if i could get on there then maybe i could get on tv because they weren't handing out contracts at that point they were doing like month to month contracts um but if it was like, maybe I could just learn and then get better and get seen because I was just, I'd been doing tryouts other than that. And then it wasn't until I was doing Ring of Honor when Raven asked if I wanted to become, like come down and be part of the gathering Yeah. Um, with CM Punk and my friend Julio, Julio Foberger oh, yeah. um, at the time. And so we did that. And that was honestly, that's really the catalyst. I think that launched the career, but if, my friends at that time was Jamie Shero, Jamie Pop, who was a cage dancer. Lollipop. Do you remember Jamie? Oh, Lollipop. God, on impact. I Jamie Pop. Yeah, she was one of the Blonde cage dancers. Lollipop. Yes. Because there weren't very, like, uh, Trinity was wrestling at that time. There weren't a ton of female wrestler wrestlers. They were mostly, uh, Goldilocks was there, but we had a big feud, but it was more just verbally because she wasn't a wrestler. Um because she was more just like a ring announcer and she was a singer, uh, but they didn't have a lot of females, but I, so uh, most of my stuff was all with Jeff Jarrett. I had the clockwork orange house fun match with him. Um, I think I wrestled Trinity in like the tryout match. Um, and she, yeah, it was interesting because it was a blend. It was two different styles. Um, so that was interesting, but I got to learn underneath Raven and that was so fun, you know? But then fast forward, like I go away, I get hired, I do developmental, and then I go up on the road there. But when I came back was when I came back and I was so grateful you were in the locker room, Lisa, because I really, um, I didn't really know everybody else in the locker room. You know? And they weren't, they weren't really super warm um, because they're like, oh, another WWE talent they, is coming to our fucking show. Excuse me. They were not but, joyous. That They were not all joyous. That I was No, they were not, 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 no, yeah, <laughs> you're right. You were so... You're the epitome of class they were not joyous <laughs> not... listen there were no yeah. rose petals at my feet Mikhail, no. so much. they were not i joyous. walked into taco tuesday said what's up <laughs> business yes. picked up bitches <laughs> <laughs> listen it wasn't exactly a mardi gras okay no, 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 you, you don't need to get your makeup done because i'm wrestling tonight <laughs> And God bless it. Remember the makeup room was kind Taxi of like a Barbara. weird hierarchy of like who was first and it was like, what? It got real weird for a while. Oh my God, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. I bought I bonded with Val pretty much straight away. Like we, where'd we go to JB's or something? I feel like that was like the real, um, there was the thing, uh, the old uh, knit, the knit and twit. Uh-huh. Yeah, we repeat. There yeah. was the knit and twit That section. was at the Fridays with, with, uh, um, with Robert the Rude, yeah. Robert the who, Rude, who, by the way, yes. loved our jokes, loved how loud and obnoxious we were. That's totally his humor. He thinks we're hilarious. He thinks we're so funny. Hilarious, with hilarious. With a T. With a T. Yeah. He hated us. To, to, to be good. No, Remember, he like, loved us. Are you kidding? He what? loved it. He's one of the funniest people ever, but he's just one of those dry, like he's just oh, so dry humor. Not gonna see that, like you know. For example, he would never be on the show because we're just like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. he would be like, whoa, he's <laughs> oh, not that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, can you imagine <laughs> him? I always equate him and Christian Cage. We're just saying Craig Cage, you know who he is. Together because like they don't speak a lot, but when they speak, it's really funny, but it's that low down dry humor. Whereas we're like coming at you at an 11 and they're at a three and a half. And they're like, what are you doing? 
Yeah. That's, yeah. They're very yeah. Canadian. Very yes. Canadian. But sorry, Mickey. So back to that. So yeah. And then Jess, obviously, you guys know. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but then to go away, because then I had Donovan and, you know, I went away for a while and then went back to WWE. So then coming back this time, it's a whole new crop of women, you know, and some of them I've seen before and some of them I hadn't. You know, but obviously Gail's kind of leading the ship over there, which is awesome because I love her so much and respect her so much. So, yeah, it's a great, it's a great locker room, you know. Um, yeah. There's some people who really, really, like, you have so much love and, and you just, you know, acceptance. And then there's other people who are real. <laughs> Tasha. <laughs> so, That's yeah. fair. That's fair. Yeah. No, oh, I love get a screenshot love of that. that. Well, <laughs> I will say in all seriousness, I've loved this episode. And Tasha, we were so yeah. thrilled to hear that you were coming to visit Mickey and you could be here. Any final words for your fans? Because obviously, you know, it's almost, we're spooky season right now. It's yeah. almost Halloween. Tell us your Halloween plans, where you're going to be for Halloween, and anything you have coming up that's exciting and you want to tell the fans about. Yep. Yeah, do you have a private account that they can follow you? Do so, <laughs> you have a brand <laughs> army? Do you have a brand army? She says holler. It's holla. I said holler. She says holla. Your girl. It's holla. You know. Holler. I haven't thought about what I want to. What I want to do. What about what brand army? Something. Do you have a brand army or like a a, a private um following the, exclusive site? Yeah, thetashasteals.com. You know, nice. but I, it's it's we're working on it. We're working on that. We're putting up some new content, some new Subscribe. merch, all that stuff like that. I gotta put up, gotta put up the new new yeah. before we release it. You know, yeah. gotta be prepared. Preparedness yeah. meets opportunity. A certain Hall of Famer said that. Mm-hmm. You, you know her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was Trish Stratus. She said it on Tough Enough season two. I'm so awful. I'm terrible that I do. <laughs> You're good, Mick. Oh. It might have been season one. <laughs> good, Trish right? Did say that. that one. She did. Wow. Yeah. I'm horrible. I know. I'm ashamed of myself, but that's where it came from. Am I wrong? No, you're not. She, that's but she her, says it all the time, though. That's her favorite wrestler. It is. Oh, she thanks, is. thanks, <laughs> G, thanks. You're right, in my Mickey? top five, Lisa. You're yeah, in my top five. Thank you, baby. Thank you're you. Top thank five. you. I'm in her top. Yeah, how do like um, like if they want to if they want to book you for like <laughs> appearances and everything else. Yeah, they get in contact with you. What's your email? Well, you, uh, well first give give you got to give the follow uh, at Real T Steals on Instagram and Twitter. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, Tasha Steals I mean, at gmail.com if you want to book me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's see what else. What else? Booked we got and we Impact tapings coming up. We do. Uh, Women's Wrestling Army, which is uh, Maria Canellis and Bobby Cruz's uh, promotion. Yeah. Yes. yes brand new um but uh it has been growing tremendously and uh i think they're only about like good two three months in yeah but it's a lot of great talent um a lot of unsigned talent of course there is a mix of some aw women some impact women um that will come through and how cool is that you know just help help the girls out um definitely it but there are a lot of girls on there that aren't on tv that should be on tv and they definitely maria is so smart and she's great and she want to showcase that and she just want to showcase women's wrestling in a new light and just have it grow from there and i am so happy to be a part of it and a lot of us us girls in impact are also a part of it so um we're just helping it grow and uh yeah it's gonna it we've got that that coming up and i think we're gonna be in chicago uh the fourth and the fifth of november Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't even so, know that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't yeah know women's that. Wrestling Army. We got Maria on, but yeah, we want yeah. to talk to her about that. That'd be great. Yeah. No. Yeah, definitely. A lot, of, a lot of good platforms for wrestlers. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's good. That's a good thing. You yeah, know, yeah. opportunity. Give the girls a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. And then Give I got a wedding to go to. Chance. So, and what? I got a wedding to go to next. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my good friend Deanna Perrazzo and uh, Steve Macklin, they'll be getting married. They're getting them They're married. They're getting them married. Getting them married. It, it's going to be, I know it's going to be a beautiful wedding. So yeah, I'm going oh, there. Oh, bro. Take a little break wedding. from wrestling and just enjoy life and, and enjoy love. unity and love. Yes. weddings are yes. legendary. Nobody yes. parties like a wrestler. Plus wrestler. Yeah. Tying that knot. Yeah. Yeah. We always wake up the next morning. Right. Um, do I need to apologize to somebody? Yes. <laughs> no, it's your wedding. Not right. You never yeah. apologize. No, remember, never... Mickey? Did, what did I do last night? What did I do? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> Sign of a good night. That's so exciting. Yeah. Well, do Tasha, we are so thrilled to have you. <laughs> Tasha, you're the best. Yeah. Tasha, you're going to be. I want to raise yeah. a glass to you. And Mickey, thank you for yeah. giving us 
Yes. Giving Dr. us a Moore's little gonna extra pissed. dose of flavor. So upset. Yes. What? That Scott Demore's gonna be pissed when he so sees mad. this episode. Oh, he has a song. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Scotty D is P. Well, we are Ooh. thrilled to have a little a little double dose of Tasha Steele's. Yeah. Yes. Flavor. Yes. And thank you guys for tuning in. Of course, please make sure you flavor. Link in the description. Flavor, Lisa. Tasha. Flavor. Yes. Flavor. I know. I was just mocking. To the mocking flavor. Everybody else. To the we flavor. love you, Tasha. To the flavor. Thank I you. love you guys. I love you guys. And I love you, ladies. It's I love all flavorful. of you. Hashtag worker jerkers. <laughs> Members only jackets. <laughs> this is the word to go, yo, yo, yo.